His wife Katrina has passed. He spends two months in the hospital in Waimea. Yet Mao's desire and dream to see his canoe completed is to everyone's guess the main thing that is keeping him alive. Of the thousands who contributed to Mao's canoe, four young men from Micronesia, Norman, Jason, Enos, and Eddie are the main builders of Maisu, along with Makali'i's Kanani Kahalehoi from Hana Maui and Patty Ann Solomon from Kohala, all working under project manager Steve Garrett, who in turn works under the direction of Shorty Brettelman. It's, it's overall lighter, overall thinner, and overall more horsepower. So it's gonna be overall much faster. <laughs> Every canoe will get a personality. This, this canoe is going to be different. Most canoe is going to be fast. It probably is not going to be able to support the weight like Makali, because Makali is pretty much the same way, but Makali, there's a belly on the bottom. Man. Most canoe is like, it starts right from the bottom or straight to the top. It'll be a much faster one. This, is the, this will be the fastest canoe ever built. As far as I'm aware of. Yeah. As far as I'm aware of. Because I don't think uh, anybody's tried to put um, this much sail on a single mast combined on a boat this light. Most pleasing to Mao is that now, five years after his speech at his tribute, the Hawaiian canoe families are working together. His first two students, Nainoa Thompson and Shorty Bertelman, meet regularly now with Chad Paishan, Pumai Bertelman, and Ka'iulani Murphy to plan the voyage to Micronesia a voyage on which all have agreed that Hokulea will escort my Sioux home. From the family, David Tuaro, and in the most, most ironic way, it's been reversed. It's like we're taking the school back to him through the canoe, right? So, so at a time in which um, we're dealing with the vanishing of traditional cultures at a rate the world's never seen. Yeah. For Mao, time is literally of the essence. If the canoe is not completed before spring when hurricane weather begins in Micronesia, Mao knows Maisu will not be able to sail this year. And now it's for me, see, I plan, uh, my time is in March. But the canoe not finish in March. I could have finished in April or May, then I don't want uh, to go. I leave back to Kuru here to my crew to fly back to home, waiting for next year that we fly back to here. Okay? As he expected, the canoe cannot be completed in time to beat the storms. So Ma will go home to Micronesia too ill to return to Hawaii. The voyagers must wait out the weather until the following January, and then sail the canoe down to Micronesia and to Mao, who by sheer will and determination will outfight the ticking clock and wait for them. In late December, Maisu is ready for a shakedown sail. As promised, Maisu is built for speed, doing almost eight knots in the light Kauai high winds. On the open ocean, Maisu is guaranteed to be one wild hula lady. Mao's son Cesario and the four young men from Micronesia returned to Hawaii to help sail Maisu home. How do you feel about the responsibility that's kind of been handed to you now, now that your dad's older and not feeling well? Oh, it's a very big responsibility. I have to make sure that uh, the kennedy is taken care of. I have to plan out on the uh, sale plan, all the student programs, get, get the students order for it. the uh, culture and navigation to be survived. It's going to change your life now. 
Definitely it's gonna change my life for a big time. Mao's first two Hawaiian students, Shorty Bertelman and Nainoa Thompson, both navigators and leaders of their canoe families, agree to share their thoughts 24 hours before the historic departure. Personally, how you each feel about the fact that you're about to bring this canoe down to Mao. What this means. Well, for me, um, it's, it's a happy day yesterday when uh, you know, I know that we're ready to go. A lot of hard work. You know, I, I got to see, um, I got to see the support system and, and what it takes to actually build a canoe for, as a gift. And the way we have to do it in our, in our day today. It's been a long road, but then at the same time, it's been such a such a blessing in disguise because uh, with all the with all the obstacles in the way, there's there's, there's so much blessings in return. So when I know asked me to see if the canoe was ready to go, and I told him, yeah, that was, that was, to me that was, uh, that was kind of like hit me that hit me in the head because. Uh, it's really, really a tribute to uh, everybody that been helped help, help put this together. So for me, it's the beginning of a journey that's um, really important. And I think, I think more important to Mao and to Clay is, I think Clay's more happy with this than, than Mao is right now. And so for all of this is going on for me at this time, I'm willing to put every effort to make sure that this, this is done right, done safely and done successfully for the for legacy that we all wish to share and we make sure that we highlight mom and that uh, we, we, we try to help Micronesia. And uh, this, this gift will be, could be a source of uh, potential to be able to help his people and for us to return to his whole man to help, help him. So for me, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, big day for me. So everybody have to take pictures of this. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't exactly know what to say. And, I, and it's funny because I... I you, know, um, you know, it's an absolute honor for Hokulea to have the opportunity to, to be a part of um, such a extraordinary and powerful vision that came from a simple conversation with between Mao and Clay. Uh, Mao was saying that, you know, things are changing in this world and, and he needs a canoe. And everything that's driven the five years and the thousands of people uh, that have been around uh, has come from, you know, simple words. I'll build you one. To me, that, that just symbolizes all the voyages that they come from very simple statements that are driven by extraordinarily powerful vision. And, and, and more than that, you know, Clay, I think, I wasn't there. He, his instincts responded to Miles deeply reaching out and reaching back to, to his family in Hawaii and, and, and asking for help. And so, so, you know, five years later, the, 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 you have both the symbol and the reality of um, that extraordinary gift is not just the canoe, but it's, but it's the heart and soul of people who, who made it and, and prepared it and, and, and got it ready. And, and in many ways, um, again, Mao is pulling us together, bridging us together. And, and, and from the organizational side, to have us have the privilege to work so closely with Nakalaiva Na and, and, and to, to be jointly being a part of the gift of honor and privilege of, um, and, and, and to see, you know, a couple of things, you come down here and you, you see these communities coming together uh, because of Maisu, and again, Ma, we're more stronger than ever. And, uh, and there's such a comfortability on my side to know that uh, the strength of our communities and our respect for each other and, and uh, aloha and love for each other is so strong that I think that, that alone has moved us into into the future that I think Ma wanted. I said, bring your people together. And, uh, I can't even measure how how huge this thing is and how powerful it is. I just 
It's an honor and a privilege to sail in the wake of Clay's vision to be a support system to to Maisu, to and um, just an honor to be with you, bro. And get back together and sail together with the colony. So it's just I cannot express how special that is.